Hiroshai Maze! It's me, your host, Andres Salazar. Sorry, I have, I am just like in the thralls of painting. I've got a gallery show, solo gallery show, uh, April the 5th. So I am just like in power painting mode. But I think about you guys and this channel every day. So I'm like, okay, let's just bang out a bunch of videos for you guys because you're loved. Okay. Um, do you know that you could be a member of the channel? We have memberships now. And what I'm doing is I'm actually going to record today a video of... Um, I'm going to do a video of my old comic book art like old art because the, one of the members said hey i want a video of like all your old stuff so i'm like okay we'll do that we'll do a video of just like all my old stuff just to show you because what the heck uh and so we're doing that that's kind of fun that's kind of cool and um we'll do more of those kind of membership videos and you have access to all the videos early so the member is going to have access to all these videos i'm recording i'm recording a bunch of videos so we're just going to you get them all right now. You just get them. You get them now. Uh, so yeah, check out the memberships. Like three bucks, cool. Also, Patreon. There you get all my comics. That's where you're getting like the documents, the files, the folders, all that stuff. Uh, I'm working on Weekend Warriors, uh, and also every now and then I'll do some Shangri La. Honestly, though, guys, comics are just going to the back, and in the foreground is this painting. I'm getting. People are liking my paintings, dude. Hey, I gotta go where the people are like. So I'm doing a lot of paintings, but I'm enjoying. I just love art. That's the deal, dude. The art of comic. I love art. I love comics. I love all this stuff. So anyway, that's what's up. Uh, let's get on to the show. Today's episode, as the title says, is about Geiger. Geiger Ground Zero. This is a, I don't know, three page? What is this? One, one two, three two three four five six with cover six uh and not even six pages it's it's three pages that they folded right and made six pages it's um i don't even know how these work like how do, so does somebody go okay i'm gonna make ash can which i love ash can comics you guys know i don't know if you know but i do the 24-hour comics every year I love Ashcan Comics, and that's what this is, right? So it's a 11 by 8 5, and you cut it in half, and it's an Ashcan, right? So love that idea. This is uh, Jeff Johns, Gary Frank, Brad Anderson, big names, huge names, professionals, if you will. And um, I'm going to move this down just a tiny bit. I feel like it needs to go down. Okay. And um, Image Comics. But why did they decide, why do they spend the marketing dollars? Some gal, some young woman, wonderful person, I'm sure, editor or marketing person, I don't know. I kind of want one of those jobs. I do want those of you who are in the industry, you know, you see what I do. You see me promoting all the time. Promote my ass a little job. Promote, I'll promote your freaking thing. Come give me a few shackles and I'll go to events and I'll freaking tout the story because that's what I do for free here. So I'll do it. I'm not afraid. Um, Geiger Ground Zero. I, I just don't get the finan the financial business element to it. It's like, okay, you make 2,000 copies or whatever of these things. You go to Comic-Con, you give them out, you give them free. And they get a taste of how many pages of story? Let's see here. You get one, two, three, four, four pages of story. And that's going to like entice me to buy this thing. And it's, what do I think of it? In a way, it's cool. It's old school. It's like, hey, man, we're just going to give you some of the comic. But four pages, I feel, is not even worth it. Like, you know, DC Marvel would give the whole issue. Now, I know they don't got the money for that. So they're like, we'll do four. But even four, I mean, this better be a good four freaking pages of cliffhanger that makes me want to read the rest. I just don't. Yeah, I'm not. Just... Let's look at it. Let's take a look. Come on. Are you ready? Oh, 
Okay, boys and girls. So, really, I mean, I don't really know if I want to... I don't even know what to say about this because you guys know that I... I like being positive and I love... You know, I love comics and I love the idea of making comics and stuff and storytelling. That's why I do this channel. I, I just have questions about the financials and like how does this work how does making these and the cost maybe it's like hey we've got this much budget jeff johns is like gary frank like okay look we've got ten thousand dollars or what it won't be ten thousand dollars but looks so we've got three thousand dollars let's make these things and let's give them out let's hire a girl or hire a person i don't mean to talk about the gender it doesn't matter but we hire a person to stand there and talk about it and you know, and that's what we do. And, and maybe we'll, because of that, we'll get a bunch of pre-orders on freaking Diamond and what have you. And then we can pitch this to Netflix, right? I mean, that's the, the exit strategy or business model. Um, and here's the thing. I love these creators. I love their work. Um, you know, it's, it's a world-building thing because they talk about the world of the unnamed right a universe of action heroes whose adventures are being painted across the tapestry that is history of the united states from the early days of the american revolution to the not so distant future of a wake of a devastating and mysterious nuclear war wait wait why is it not so distant future do we have a nuclear war slow down dude come on man anyway the glowing man we're starting with this world building with the first book geiger ground zero and uh okay i mean it looks pretty standard. I mean, there's a lot of freaking words here, but it's okay. We can handle that. Uh, it looks good. The art's cool. I like Gary Frank a lot. It doesn't look like he's phoning it in, but you know, boom. Oh no! He's the glowing man. He survived like a freaking Hulk. You know, is there. Explodes. Um, I need to kill the glowing man tonight if I'm going to save my wife. You know. So, I'm sure there's a cool, like, bit to it i'm just not getting it i don't know okay here we go then we what i don't know what mad ghost mad ghost must be their little like imprint of it. remember how like everybody had their own little like thing and that's theirs i guess um by the way this looks a lot like one of those uh characters that alex ross designed right um the hooded ghosty dude yeah Okay, Redco becomes immortal. We got the North. These must be books that are going to happen. Yeah, these are books. I guess. So they're going to make a book called The Redco, The Northerner, The Monster, Junkyard Joe, 72. So that's like a wrestling thing, probably. Uh, American Widow X, The First Ghost, Unknown War, Geiger. So these are like different books coming out, basically showing their little plan. Here's just a, you know, thing. Yeah, here's Junkyard Joe. Oh, so that is coming out right now, too. Some heroes are made, not born. Okay, Junkyard Joe is like a robot Archie thing or something. Okay, so yeah, there you go, a little symbol. Kind of a waste of space, but it looks cool, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, what to say, dude? I don't know. I don't know why I do these videos sometimes, but it is what it is. There you go. Thank you. I'd either say, matane. Bye.